Hi, now we'll learn how to add user command in the report. A user command means, for example, we have different columns in the output. Now my requirement is when I double click on this pure number, system should open ME23N with this purchase order number. This is a very common requirement of a user command. We can have any other requirement. Sometimes you might need to call pure print output or you have to like navigate to some other report or on click on save button you want to save some data on back button you want to perform some different operation so whatever we require to do based on some action that we call as a user command based on the command system will respond so for that what we have to do in the reuse ALV function model where we are displaying the output here there is one exporting parameter like i underscore callback underscore user command here we have to give an id let's say user command and with this id we have to create a perform routine okay so what i will do i will copy this as it is always call, type this in capital letter now here after this i will add form user command and form and here in user command you have to write like this perform user command using r underscore ucom like sci ucom that is system user command and rs underscore cell fill type cellis underscore cell fill okay so very first step is create a form a in form routine for the user command using recom and rs underscore cell field okay now what we can do here inside this we'll add we'll add a case like case recom for example we have three four activity to perform based on different user command so now first i want to enable double click so when you double click on the output the value of recom will be ampersand I see one. This will be the value whenever user double click on any column. Okay. And second, let's say I will just add temporarily when back. So I want to set screen zero. Okay. And here I will do a end case and clear sci ucom. Okay. Now, whenever user double click on the purchase order number, I want to open that purchase order in ME23N. So for that, what we require, like here we have multiple columns, but as of now, I want to enable that only when user click on this particular column. So whenever double click, user do a double click, I should know the field name that is EPLN. Second requirement on which row user has clicked because here we have multiple records, right? If user click on this row, system should return me the index of this particular row. So two fields are important for us here. Okay, one is the index on which user has clicked and second, we should know on which field system uh, user has clicked. Now, so what I will do first in the output, okay, even double click also work, but there is one more option to enable as a hot spot. Like JS underscore fcat 
hot spot equal to x okay this is optional not required but we can add the hot spot by default we will get a hand type icon over there okay so as of now what i am doing i am not uh, like checking the field name but i just want to read the index so what i will do here when you double click read table gt underscore list into gs underscore list index like rs underscore cell field type index okay if you want to set the condition based on the field name then here in rs underscore cell field, uh, cell field we also held a field name like if field name is ebln then only to uh, do this so as of now i am doing only with a type index okay so on which record the user click i will am reading that index here and after that what i am doing here see if js underscore list ebln is not initial because my purchase order field name is ebln okay and if and in between i will write my i will write my logic okay so before like adding further code let me set a breakpoint here and explain you the code not here let me set a breakpoint here at r underscore ucom fine so execute the report as it is see now for this field i have added hot spot that's why you can see here a hand icon okay single click it will act as double click otherwise you have to double click here anywhere now if i click here so i want to know on which row user have click go to desktop 3 if you click on tab index here you can see user have click on the row number 6 similarly if you want to know on which field on which field user have click so what we can do we can just open this structure rs underscore cell field and here you can see the field name is ebln and the field value is this so if you want to perform multiple operations then you can also add logic for the field level as of now i just want to read the index number if I, now here see the rucom because i will double click so that's why here we can see rucom value like this okay so this will go inside and you can see the ebln is not initial and will perform our remaining operations here now my, what is my requirement i want to call ab 23 n okay i want to call this transition ab 23 n but by default, I want to pass the PO number also here. Now it is 10. Suppose I want to open PO number 7. So how to do that? For that, there is a concept called set parameter ID. You will set a parameter ID for the PO number field. And then we will call this transition code. So how to move the parameter ID? On this field, press F1. And then go to technical information. So here we can see there's a field called parameter ID and the value is BES. Sometimes some transition code we have to pass set multiple parameter ID. Like if you see the FB03, that is finance transition code. So there we have to pass fiscal year, company code, and the Belnar. So there we have to use three parameter ID. But now here I have to pass only one. So what I will do next, go back to the program, now this time I will remove the breakpoint because we know the concept, now how to do that. Now here the target, our target is now set parameter id, set parameter id, which parameter id we want to set, BES, right. BES is a parameter ID for purchase order. 
okay and which field you want to assign here which field value you want to assign here so here i want to assign the value of purchase order from this field okay so set parameter id like id name and then the field value which we want to assign to this id and after this we have to add syntax like call transaction which transaction code we want to call mv23 and and skip for screen so check activate okay so before executing let me extend one more time what all we have done first you in first you have uncomment this i underscore callback underscore user command assign a value here as user command then create a form in form routine with that user command using rucom and rs self field then first check the rucom and inside that perform the necessary operations now if i execute this report okay so i will click here on this number that is 13 see now system has called the me 23 and and here we can see the our purchase order number 13 if i go back and suppose now i'm clicking on the first record pure number is 2 now here we can see the purchase order number is 2 okay like this we can navigate from one report to another report using the user command we can also use the submit syntax there is submit syntax suppose if you want to call any other report okay that also we can do in the same user command so in this way we have learned how to implement the user command logic next we will see how to add the pf status that we will see in the next session